The following contest is a PFL Europe lightweight semi-final. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a kickboxing specialist and stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He weighed in officially at 155.2 pounds and holds a perfect pro record of nine wins and no losses. Fighting out of Olsteen, Poland, the auditor, Jakob Kaszuba. <laughs> and his opponent fighting out of the red corner. And in the red corner, he is a mixed martial arts specialist and stands six feet tall. He went in officially at 155.4 pounds and possesses a record of six victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Bathgate, Scotland and representing Ireland, Dylan the Nuke Two. Your referee in charge, Mark Goddard. The nuke is in the green. The auditor, Jakob Kashuba, is in the gray. Mark Goddard dressed in all black to oversee the action. Dan Hardy, will we see Dylan go nuclear? Oh, you're doing it to me on purpose now. You know my pet hate, Sean. Nuclear, nuclear. Look at this movement, this footwork, it's very nice, it's elusive, of course, Kasuba's gonna try and close him down, but Tuke's not gonna stay there and clinch up with him and deal with that strength. Got some Muhammad Ali cross by Bruce Lee movements here. That was a hard kick to the shin. You see Tuke give different looks, he'll switch stances, he'll dance out of range, he'll turn his back at times. Very, very unorthodox and hard to deal with. And we saw in his last fight against Connor Hughes how frustrating it can be for an opponent. That was twice. That's the second time Kasuba's just kicked the shin bone of two. I was going to say the same thing. Very interesting. Now he's got what he wants. Got him up against the fence. This is where Dylan Tuke doesn't want to be. Oh, he's working with a takedown of his own. Looking for the outside reap here. Nice knee to the midsection there. Maybe Dylan Tuke's confident that he can compare with strength here. I did notice he'd gained a little bit more weight for this fight as well. I think he, he wanted to be a bit heavier coming into this one. Well, too, been training and learning from Stevie Ray, who is the finalist in the PFL Global season. And we've seen this kind of work oh. from Stevie multiple times in his career. So right. against a fellow grappler, right, that's the right kind of guy to have in your camp. And, and you've got to think, you know, Stevie Ray's probably 180 right now, so he's going to be a big, strong fighter to be, uh, you know, moving Tuke around. It's going to feel very similar to someone like Kasuba. It's going to give a lot of confidence to Tuke to su survive that clinch situation for the first time and feel the power of Kasuba up close. I can tell Dan Hardy doesn't follow Stevie Ray on Instagram. He hasn't seen 180 in a while. He's about 200 pounds Is he really? right now. Doesn't I was trying look to be bad. nice. I was trying he's, to be nice. He's a, another massive lightweight. Oh. You know, Great jab and leg kick there by Tuke. Such huge frames on both of these guys, and you can see how well Tuke moves. And a wealth of knowledge as well in the corner. With James there. Doolin. Lorenzo Parenti in the corner with Dylan Tuke as well. Another really promising young fighter. And again, good defense by Tuke. Kasuba looking for the takedowns, but hasn't even come close yet. I like the fact that Tuke isn't shying away from these moments, though. Stayed in the clinch for a little while. Make the man work, you know, fill his muscles up with lactate, slow him down, make them burn. This is a good performance from Took so far. He's not rushing, he's staying patient, but he's not on the back foot like he was against Hughes trying to snipe. He's staying quite, oh, that was a beautiful split cross. And Kashuba is still trying to figure out the timing here. You can see him keeping that high and tight guard. It's almost impossible to figure out the timing from Took though. Right. So unorthodox. Oh, look at that movement. Excellent movement to stay away from that shot attempt. And that was a lightning fast double leg attempt there from Kashuba. Tuke has grown so much over the last couple of years. He really has. You know, he, he credits it all to his move to Scotland to work with the higher level guys.
They've settled him down. They've given him direction with his game. That's what we saw against Hughes. That's what we're seeing here against Kasuba. Look, he's looking for that side reap. He just glanced down there to see if he can get it, and he might get it this time. Look how strong Kasuba is, though. Got him off balance, but not all the way down. But Dylan Took now, chest to chest, and pressing Jakob Kasuba into the smart cage barrier. Very impressed with Souk that he's being dominant in these situations. Really thought he would struggle against Katsuba, but making a real statement here in the first round. That head position, he might look to separate yep. here. You know, I think the I think the mood of Dylan Souk earlier in his interview it really shows the the the, the, de the danger that he's in against Katsuba. Like how difficult this opponent was potentially going to be for him. He almost like he acknowledged that with his anxiety. He was tense this week, and I've not seen him like that before. I wonder what's going on in the head of Katsuba, though, because he has closed the distance a couple times. He's been in the clinch, but he hasn't been able to do anything there. Every single time he closes the distance, Dylan Tu can catch him with one of his unorthodox oh. strikes. Good job there, but good job by Katsuba. I was gonna say stay on top, but now it's Suk on top. Beautiful job there. Dylan Tuke taking the game of Jakob Kashuba right to his opponent. Oh, and he's on his back now. Tuke now. Body triangle. With a body wow. triangle, those long legs. He's lightning fast. 10 seconds left. I don't think he's gonna get it, but what a confidence booster to be on the back. May have it though. He got it locked in. Here from the cross the chin. Doesn't Dylan have enough Tuke. time. Oh man. <laughs> Lovely movement here. Every time he shifts his head from one side to the next, you just never know whether he's going to dart him with one of those crosses that he kept tagging Hughes with. He's got some of that dominant Cruz footwork as he tries to retreat. Really fascinating stuff from Dylan Took and Kashuba, obviously the more orthodox fighter here. Oh, good black kick. There's the power from Katsuba chasing him down. Underhooks for Took though. Not sure who got the worst of that initial clash. Looked like Tuke was able to sneak in that left. She was strong in this position, but Tuke staying relaxed. Being relaxed with that underhook, he's gonna look the opportunity to turn him again in a minute. There he goes. Beautiful. Now he's gonna look for that outside reap. Nice knee, and he keeps glancing down at the legs as well. He's trying to see where his opponent's placing his feet so he can remove his base. Tuke off the cage here. Tests out the high kick. You can see that lactic acid building up for both fighters. The pace slowing a little bit here. Is that Left hand landed. He's caught that kick. Tried to go for the takedown, but good defense like Atsuba. Of all the things that Kasuba was expecting, defending takedowns against the fence was probably not one of them. Oh yeah, if you told me that Dylan Tuke was going to try and control this fight against the cage against Jakob Kasuba, I would have told you you haven't been watching film on these guys. <laughs> nice little knee to the midsection again from Tuke. Being judicious here with his striking. It's a real statement to the training that uh, that Tuke is doing now. Maybe it's a statement to us well, Sean, because when I asked him at the weigh-in just today, you're more of a striker, he's more of a wrestler. He's like, oh yeah, wait and see for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a nice knee from Kasuba. Cut him. Big knee to the head. That's cut the brow of Dylan Tuke. That's going to put some more pressure on him here. Starting to leak now. That's a cut above the eye as well. Got to be careful not dropping his head from now on. He can't take another one of those. Don't want to get the doctors involved here. Looking for the outside reap again. Could he finish it? He went to the left leg first and then again with those long limbs. After he got Kashub off balance, he started to hunt that far leg. Good left hand on the exit there from Jakob Kashuba. Oh, beautiful lead up a cut. Split left, lead up a cut from the right hand. Tell you what, Dylan Took needs to get to work. You do not want the doctor to look at that cut. 
I like the fact that Katsuba is also staying calm, even though he's not getting his takedowns. He's not really, oh, beautiful uppercut there. And the knee, he's growing in the second round. But he's not overextending himself. He's not really taking big risks. Staying calm, looking at what Tuke is doing. Tuke trying on this. He had grabbed the leg of Kashuba, was hunting that single leg for a moment. Now he's got the legs. Yeah, very nice. And he's got his back on the mat, very important. Now he can put that weight on him, be physical with him, wear him down. Tuke's got a hold of the wrist. Gonna try and move to his legs, to, to his knees, just like Doris did a couple times. But getting Katsupa off of you, not gonna be easy. Katsupa worked for about nine minutes to get to this spot right here. Now he's gonna do his best, pour on the damage. Confidence builder for him that he finally got this fight to where he wanted it to be. Yeah, much better second round. Lost the first round, but he cut him open. He's got the takedown. This is what he was expecting to do. Well, this is it. I mean, this could be one apiece. In, in 10 seconds, we're moving into the third round. This could be one apiece going into the third. Would you rather win the first round or the second round? That's the question. I'd rather, rather win, win the them second. all. <laughs> I lost a lot of first rounds. Very experienced referee, knows what he's looking at. Dylan Took in the green, Jakub Kashuba in the gray. A third round here. Likely the decider. If we go to the judges' final scorecards, this could be the one that sends an eventual winner to Dublin for a $100,000 championship fight. Definitely is on my scorecards. One apiece. Great second round by Katsuba. That short left is really nice. I'd like to see that uppercut again. There it is. He didn't set it up this time, but got some really nice attacks very difficult to predict oh beautiful job by Katsuba nice and all the legs but beautiful second Take effort on the defense. sprawl there from two that was very nice Katsuba offered him a right hand though as they separated something that he was not doing successfully in round one good leg kick again by Katsuba there you can see the output from two has dropped off a little bit Oh, that was a nice good left. left hook. Snaps the head back. You've got to think this is where the grappling against Kasuba is starting to wear Tuke down a little bit. This is nice work, but he's struggling to get around the side of Kasuba. Nice little twist off there. Great right time in there. Very short right landed. Is Kasuba hurt there, do you think? He seems to be a bit flat on his feet all of a sudden. Spent a lot of energy in the second round to win that round. Well, you talked about, Dan, how Dylan Tuke came in a little bit larger, maybe a little more muscle mass. Uh -huh. Kashuba's been carrying that muscle mass for years and months, right? He's used to being this big. Up until that moment, nice jab from Kashuba. Yeah, good timing on that one. Jakob looked like the fresher fighter in round three, but now Tuke for perhaps finding his second win. One takedown could win the round. Both men know it. Both want to advance to Dublin for a chance for $100,000. Especially if Tuke can expose the back of Kasuba again. Now they're both fatigued. Oh, there it is again. Split left. He needs to stitch something on the end of it, though, because now it's not landing quite as cleanly. There it is again. He's trying too hard for it. Two right hands there for Kasuba. Landed the straight and then the uppercut. Yeah, nice short uppercut there. Beautiful fight between these two. A lot of skill on display. Good inside low kick there from Kasuba. Every time Tuke steps forward to commit to a punch, you can see Kasuba now working the inside leg, trying to destabilize the base, take the power out of the punches. Yeah, those do a lot of damage, especially when the weight is on there. You only need like a couple, and he's landed like five or six of those. Really good job by Kasuba there. Duke, Tuke has an incredible game face here, but he is exhausted. There's been very little output here in the third round. Kashuba is now the one throwing in all these exchanges. Even if they're not significant strikes landing, he's the busier fighter here by a significant margin. So you had a lot of success in the first round in these exchanges, but pushing around a big man like Katsuba, it's gonna wear you down. Look at that, Jakub Kashuba with some knees to the midsection. 
Big grab there by Katsuba, though. Coming up to the last 90 seconds. Hard to score this last round, but I've got to lean towards Kasuba here. He's landed good shots on the break. Oh, that was a good right, right hand. Nasty. Oh, good knee. knee. Got him hurt. Can he complete the takedown? He could be on this neck here as well if to extend himself. Kasuba gets down to the back of Dylan Took. And we know he's good in this position after what he did against Maxim in Berlin. Beautiful work to get the back, get two on the mat. Now he can hunt for it. He's got his right arm in place. Chooses to go to full mount, good choice. If he stays in this position, he wins the round. Look at this work here, so he's gone straight over. He's trying to get these hooks in. He's trying to get the hooks in either side, but Dylan Took's doing a really good job of defending. You can see how tight he is on this hip. Dragging Took around. Now he's right the way to the side. You can see the legs of Took are all the way out of play. Now they're flat on the floor. Now Kasuba can start to work to control the upper body. Control the upper body here. You can see the hand fighting going on. Beautiful work here by Kasuba, slowly moving his way around to the side. And a valiant defensive effort here from Dylan Took, who is definitely exhausted but not giving anything up. He was hunting for that wrist. Got to his knees, but Katsuba is refusing to let him up. Good left hand from the top position here for Jakob Katsuba. Got to give a big compliment to Katsuba. The way he turned things around in the second round and to build on that in the third round. Final bell in this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges scored this about 29-28. 29, 28, and 30, 27, all for your winner, clinching their place in the PFL Europe Championship, Jakob Kashuba! Jakob Kashuba victorious and moving on to Dublin. Tell me your reaction immediately after this fight. Were you surprised by what you saw from Dylan Took, especially in that first round? Right before I get to it, I want to say, Glory to the fatherland. And Austin Kocham and Duva. Jacksonville, Florida. I love you guys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, first round, he won. He was annoying, but I knew my pressure wouldn't stop. And I kept going, doing what my corner told me to do. First round, he was fresh. So, like I said, I started getting him out of his game plan, second and third round, and he was tired and couldn't adapt, so that's how I won. You wore him down, you landed the big knee, you cut him open. Yeah. Was that the turning point in the fight? Uh, no, turning point was for me. In the first round, I kept body punching in second round, and that made him tired. Then he messed him up, don't get me wrong, and blurred his vision, but it was a combination of that knee, body punching, and finally listening to my corner to start throwing. Well, I, I should have yeah. finished him, honestly, in the third round, but he's a tough kid, what can I say? A tough kid, but it's you who moves on to Dublin and stays undefeated. Jakob Kashuba, ladies and gentlemen, and as long as we're talking about Dublin, where is John Mitchell? John Mitchell already punched his ticket earlier tonight. Jakub Kashuba victorious here. What do you think of this matchup? I think it's a great matchup. I think Jakub's very good, and I think it's going to be a hell of a night in Dublin. I'm excited. We're both hell of a fighters going to do a good show for Dublin. Two good Catholics. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's face this thing off, fellas. Yeah, so it's going to be you look good. I'll, I'll bring you out after. Yes, hey, that's hey, a fun. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That is your 155-pound PFL European Championship out. John Mitchell, Jakub Kashuba, we will see you in Dublin.